Can I beat the hardest boss in Dark Souls 3? Spoiler alert, probably not, but I'm gonna try. I have fought this boss time and time and time again, and well, if you guys are new to the channel, I'll just roll a clip from the last time that I tried to fight him. Oh my god! What the was that? Oh my fucking god! Dude, I'm done. I cannot with this fucking game. I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't care. I'm done. Oh my fucking god! With all that being said, I have completed the whole game up to this point. I've beaten every other boss. I've gotten the endings. I mean, if you watch the original Dark Souls 3 series, then you'd know that. This is on New Game Zero. If you want to look at my equipment, if there's anything I could be possibly doing better. I know that my armor is pretty bad, but I need it to be what it is. So then my equip load is light enough for me to not be fat rolling. Okay, after some quick examination, I actually did do a few things. So we're going to be rocking the Speckled Stone Plate Ring. We're also going to be using the Karthus Blood Ring. So then we have more iframes, even though it means when we get hit, we will be taking more damage. I feel like those the increase in iframes would be worth it. And then we're also rocking the Lloyd Sword Ring. Just so then on the rare occasions that my HP is actually full, we'll be able to do more damage. I'm also using the Grass Crush Shield for boosted stamina regen. And these are my stats if anyone's curious. Now let's traverse the fog. Oh man, I haven't attempted this in a couple of months. I'm hoping all the time that I've spent on Elden Ring can help me do a bit better in this fight. I mean, I have put 100 hours into that game at this point. First phase is not too bad. You just got to dodge around, try to hit him in the head. Oh! Look at that fog's damage. Okay, dodge the lightning. Okay, see, like, all that time in Elden Ring is helping me a little bit. Hopefully, that remains true for the rest of this fight. Okay. Got the birdie, like, almost a a halfway down already after just four swings, so... At least I know I've learned him a bit more. Gotta dodge the lightning, time that. I, my timing was way off right there. Okay. Oh, we got him into the critical state. Just like that. Is that the first phase down already? Big moves, big moves. I believe the last time I tried to fight him, I was still using the Butcher's Knife, to be fair. So this first couple attacks, I believe you have to dodge through it. And then there's one where you gotta, like, dodge to the right. Oh, no, maybe not. I thought he always opened with, like, this big wave attack. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. See, I am terrible at this fight because, obviously, you don't get to spend a lot of time fighting Nameless King. You have to go through the entire first phase first, and then by the time you get to him, you're already all, like, jittery and hoping that you don't choke it. Which, in my case, means I'm gonna choke it every single time. I believe this weapon has a built-in Ash of War, or whatever it's called in this game. Skill, stomp. Use one's weight to lunge forward with a low stance and increased poise and follow with a crushing a strong attack? Wait, so I can do that and then follow it... Oh, I'm not exactly sure how good that would actually be for this fight, considering how fast he attacks, but I may actually try that. All right, so at least we know that this dragon isn't that bad. We just got to get him in the nose a couple of times, and that's that's really all we got to do for him. He's doing a big fire attack. Fire attacks are always a great time to get in a lot of damage. Even if you can't see what you're doing or you can't see him, just keep swinging. Oh, that big fire AoE always hurts, man. Yikes, my timings are all off today. Okay. Ow. I'm struggling way harder in this than I did in the first attempt. I have no idea why that always happens to me. I do amazing in my first attempts against bosses. And then after that, I just, I can never get anywhere close to that again. <sighs> yeah, buddy. I'm gonna keep him right here as always. Got my good luck charm. It's crazy how I've beaten a game full of Nameless Kings, that being Elden Ring. And yet when I come back to the original Nameless King, I choke this bat. Ow. All right, big fire move. Perfect time to get in more damage. Oh, wait, did I get hit by it? Oh, shoot. How did I get hit by it? Honestly, I'm not worried about how many flasks we use during the first phase because by the time you get to Nameless King, you barely ever have time to use those dang things as is. Ooh, big damage. All right, gonna get the critical. I don't think that's gonna finish him off. It might. Oh, okay, that finished him off. We're back to Nameless King. All right, come on, NK. You ain't that bad. Are you gonna do that move? I believe... Oh, no, you gotta dodge... To the side of that? I think I don't even know. Alright, we just gotta stay up close and personal. I think we wanna dodge to his right side. Or his left side. No, no, that would actually be the left, our left. Which would be his right? I don't know. I was kinda right. Okay. Gotta keep the timings up. Come on. Ooh, I dodged the wrong way, but I still survived it, so that's what counts. I can get two in right there. This is my best attempt ever so far, honestly. Okay. 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 Going crazy right now. 
I didn't know he has a critical state that you could get him into. Okay, we're halfway. Best I've ever done. Oh, he has iframes while he's getting up. I did not know that. I shouldn't have attacked. Oh, wait. I'm okay. What's he doing here? I don't know. I don't... I don't know what this is. Okay. Shit! Oh, okay. We're good. I just missed it. No. I was trying to keep myself in max health so then we can get the boosted attack from our talisman or our ring, whatever it's called. Okay. Lightning attack. Heal. Okay. Jump lunge. Oh, I missed that. That was really bad on my part. Come on. Okay. Ah, I don't... How, how do you dodge that? Do you have to dodge it as... Oh, I think you have to dodge it, like, as soon as he points it up to the ceiling, probably. Oh my god. I got I got way too greedy right there. I, I tried to punish him twice. I should have only done it once. Man, at least I know I can do it. So as soon as he goes like this, I think that's when I gotta dodge for the lightning attack. And besides that, as long as I don't get greedy and stupid like I did right there, if I wouldn't have got so greedy right there at the end, I could have had him right there. This is this has just been eating at me, man, because this is the only Dark Souls boss that I have never beaten before. I went back in New Game Plus on Dark Souls 2, and I ended up beating all of those bosses. I just never made any videos on them. And then same thing with Dark Souls 1, and now this is the last one that I need for Dark Souls 3. Obviously, that doesn't include the DLC. I'm just talking about base game. But in terms of base game Dark Souls bosses, this is the last one that I need. I just gotta manage my stamina better too and i i just I, I can't get greedy biggest thing in dark souls in elden ring you can kind of get away with being greedy more than the other souls games honestly but in dark souls no oh man that lightning attack is devastating i am so bad at myself i can't believe i choked that last attempt if i wouldn't have choked that we could have had it oh my god i just have to learn the dragon at this point i feel like the dragon is going to be harder th for me than nameless king because nameless king at this point is just going to be like a war of attrition to see if i can out dodge his moves but besides that the dragon is going to be like the big thing holding me back now because if i get lucky on some runs and the rng plays my favor and he doesn't do certain attacks i'll be fine but if there's certain ones where he does what he does right there where it's just a bunch of aoe's and lightning attacks then i'm screwed in other words this is the time for me to get good the biggest hurdle for me is just fighting the camera during this first phase like it is so hard trying to fight the camera man it's going all over the place like i like i had no idea that that was coming i just i literally can't see anything i'm not really sure where i should be positioned during this fight i don't know if i should be under him to the in front of him to the side of him yeah aoe okay we're good big attacks oh i missed both of them our right, fire attack gotta gotta watch myself can't do what i did last time oh no that other oh man my last two missed my depth perception is absolute garbage right now what i was running away from that fire attack no clue how that caught up to me i like i i literally can never see it coming it is just it comes out of nowhere Ow. Just like that, King of the Storm is down. Sweet. Back to Nameless King. We got five flasks. All right, so when he does the vertical attack, I got to dodge to the side. No, I got to dodge through that one. Dodge to the side. I missed because I'm terrible. I shouldn't have healed. Oh, my God. I'm, mess I'm messing up so bad already. Heal. Ah, nope. Getting greedy again. Got to chill. Ow. I will destroy this man. I defeated Millennia yesterday. I can take on Nameless King. I totally can do it. I, I should have already been able to do it. <sighs> I think the hardest part about this boss is overcoming yourself. Just hear me out. I can totally do this. Like, I'm the one doing it to myself. I'm the one putting pressure on myself. I'm the only one screwing myself over in this encounter. I just gotta chill out, focus up. Can't, can't let all the adrenaline get to me. I just, I gotta focus up. Just, just gotta do the fight. It's all good. Ow. Phew. Big damage. All right, Nameless King. There we go.
Ah, I messed up. Okay, whoa, whoa, y'all saw that. The lock-on stopped locking on right there. That one was not my fault. Oh, I clicked circle, though. I do this. Oh my god, my timings, man. Nope. Ooh. God, the lightning move right at the end, man. I'm running out of patience. I can do it, but I, I'm, I'm running out of patience right now. <laughs> he won. Like one of my patrons, Razak, said, said in the comments of a video from like a month or two ago. When the game gets to be too much, just put it down. There's no need to hurt myself or anything around me. I'm trying to keep myself in a blissful, peaceful state of mind. But dude, it is so hard to do that when you're fighting Nameless King. There is, like, there's been two attempts now where I totally could have had him. It's just like, oh my god, those lightning attacks. I'll give myself some credit. I'm doing better than I was a couple months ago when I first tried this. But like, dude, this guy is still a nightmare, honestly. He's, got, he's pretty tough. I do not envy anybody that fights this as one of their like first souls bosses if this was like their first souls game like i do not envy them at all i envy their sense of accomplishment but i do not envy that first process like <sighs> you spend this whole first phase fighting the camera i hate that so much if i can't get him this time i'm i i don't even know i'm probably just gonna say ggs i've tried i've done my best but this how am i alive i'm I will give this one more attempt. Like, I know I can totally take this guy. Like, it's totally possible. I totally could. But it's just, it relies so heavily on how that first phase goes. If I go into it with max health or not. Because as long as I can go into it with max health and try to dodge, like, the most of his moves to keep myself at a point of where anytime I heal, I can get myself back up to, like, max immediately, then I'm good. Because that ring that I have that, like, boosts my attack damage when my health is at full, that actually does quite a bit. If anything, I might just need some tips or pointers on how to more efficiently, like, not have to fight the camera in this first first phase if there's like a, sp a specific position i should be in because it gets so ridiculous at some points where like my camera i'm fighting it so hard that my camera will unlock itself from the dragon bird thing okay got the critical hit ready already just like that second phase all right we're going into it with full flat so i didn't even get hit in that first phase now this is where anything can go wrong i oh my god i hate that shit where i click circle and it literally doesn't even register Okay, I know what I said last time, but I, I just, I, I need one more attempt. That first phase, it went pretty good the last time. We're just, we're gonna do it one more time. Okay, so now I have three massive hurdles. How to efficiently fight this dragon while not, you know, having the camera break the entire time. The lightning moves that Nameless King does in the second phase, along with the opening stab move that he does sometimes. I think the best way for me to avoid it would maybe to not move until he does his first wave attacks. Because once he starts doing those, like, wave tornado error attacks whatever they're called i'm able to dodge through those into the side of those just fine it's just that sometimes when i move he'll end up doing the spear lunge attack rather than the opening wave attack that i'm actually able to dodge or at least the one that i know how to dodge on a regular basis 
Yeah, 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 no thanks. Oh, I just wanted to feed him so bad. I just, I want him, I want him dead. I want him dead. Second phase? All right, don't move. Do the attack. Do the one that I know how to dodge. Okay. Oh no, he's doing that one anyway. Oh wait, I did it. Okay, I got my time. I got my timing a little bit better. Oh no. Okay, I'm still alive. Oh shoot, he did like a third stab. Tips for the first phase, and then the ceiling stab, along with, well, I guess I got the lunging move down. It's just, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. This game bullies me. You know, being able to say that I defeated every Dark Souls boss besides Nameless King actually makes me feel pretty good about myself. I'm starting to get the feeling that those other times where I got him close were probably just RNG luck. Because <laughs> let's face it, in all of those attempts, he did not do any triple combos. He only did double combos, which were a lot easier to dodge in time. Anytime that he does triple combos, the third one is always a lot harder to time. So I honestly think I just got lucky. Anything that you guys were able to see that I was like visibly doing wrong, again, please let me know. And maybe I'll come back to this and do another video on it in like a week or two. Anyway, as always, a shout out to the patrons and channel members, Carmen's Fake, Grandma, Little Bitty Tab, Big Daddy, Maddie, Chalupasaurus, Rex, Ray Zach, Polar, Ray, De Webster, Lamas, Bianca, Spurgatory, Dripper, Cassant, Mel, Alaskan, Desperate, Auto, Mason Irving, and TGRNY15. So to answer the title of this video, apparently I can't, but I'm hoping that I can get him one day. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. And remember, don't go hollow. Peace.
honestly have no clue how I did that. 